Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Uh, today's topic is what is splenomegaly or maybe the enlargement of the spleen, you know. But before starting, I would like to request you to like, subscribe and share these videos to support this channel, you know. And if you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and the link is just below the video uh, uh, and you can click that link uh, to visit the website, you know. Uh, now I come to the topic, what is uh, splenomegaly, you know. You know, splenomegaly is a condition and uh, it occurs uh, when your spleen becomes enlarged, you know. And it's also commonly uh, referred to as the enlarged spleen or uh, may also be known as the spleen enlargement, you know. So these are the alternative you know, names, you know. But the medical name is splenomegaly, you know. You know, the spleen is the part uh, of your... Uh, lymphatic system and the spleen helps the immune system by uh, storing the white blood cells and helping in the creation of the antibodies you know so it's a very important organ you know and uh, it's found in uh, on the like left side of your body you know below your rib cage okay so uh, and it, its responsibilities are like uh, uh, filtering the antibody uh, coated bacteria, you know, or uh, reprocessing the old red blood cells and recycling the iron in the hemoglobin, you know. So the spleen is an extremely important body organ and uh, it fights against the infections because uh, it is the source of the two types of the blood cells. B cells and T cells, you know, and uh, the white blood cells, they, their function is that they protect uh, your body from the bacteria and the infections, you know. So this spleen is usually about the size of the uh, fist, you know, uh, but when enlarged it can become much bigger, you know. And, uh, you know, some people uh, with the splenomegaly or the enlarged spleen, you know, they experience no symptoms at all, you know. And the condition is only discovered during a routine uh, physical examination for any other reason, you know. And uh, if you are very slim, you know, uh, in that case it, it may be possible for you to feel your enlarged spleen through your skin, you know. And uh, the common symptoms of the enlarged spleen uh, uh, is a feeling of pain or the discomfort in the upper left side of your abdomen, you know, uh, where the spleen is located, you know, just under the, uh, below the rib cage, you know. And you might also experience the feeling of fullness after only eating a small amount of food, you know. And this usually happens uh, when the spleen becomes enlarged to uh, the point that uh, it presses the stomach, you know, because it's very close to the stomach. And uh, if your spleen starts to press on the other organs, uh, it can start to affect the blood flow of the spleen, you know. And uh, this could cause your spleen to be, uh, to not to be able to filter your, like, uh, uh, blood properly. So it, uh, uh, it's affected. So it, 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 I mean, it stops the spleen to perform its responsibilities, you know. And if your spleen becomes too big, in that case, it can start to remove too many red blood cells from your blood, you know. And not having enough red blood cells means that uh, it, you can, it can lead to the uh, anemia, you know. And if your spleen cannot create the enough white blood cells as a result uh, of its enlargement, you know, uh, you might experience infections more often, uh, you know as uh, uh, you have the less amount of the white blood uh, cells, you know, which are the fighters against the infections or bacteria, you know. And if you experience the symptoms of the enlarged spleen, uh, it's important to make an appointment with your doctor and talk to him uh, for the further evaluation, you know. And if we, you experience the pain in the upper left side of your abdomen that is severe, or if the pain worsens when you breathe, you know, uh, 
you should see your doctor in that case as soon as possible. You know. Now, next, what are the causes of the uh, splenomegaly or the enlarged spleen? You know, you know, it can be caused by a number of uh, diseases and the conditions, like infections such as uh, uh, mononucleosis. Or it's one of the most common causes of the splenomegaly, you know. And uh, the problems with the liver, uh, such as cirrhosis, cystic fibrosis. So these are also the contributing factors, you know. And another uh, possible cause uh, is like juvenile rheumatoid arthritis. So this condition can cause like inflammation of the lymphatic system, you know. And uh, because of the spleen is part of the lymphatic system, uh, this inflammation can cause the spleen to become enlarged. You know. And other potential causes may include like malaria or maybe uh, leukemia or heart failure or cirrhosis, you know, and the tumor in the spleen, you know, and viral or bacterial and parasitic infections and inflammatory diseases such as lupus or maybe rheumatoid arthritis and uh, uh, sickle cell disease, you know. So these are other possible uh, causes of the as splenomegaly. Now, to treat your uh, enlarged spleen, your doctor have to treat the underlying cause, you know. And if the cause of your spleen enlargement is an infection, your doctor may prescribe you the antibiotics and depending on the organism which is causing this infection, you know. And uh, if the infection, you know, infection may cause you the enlarged spleen, you know. And uh, if it's caused by bacteria, the antibiotics can help, you know. And if the virus causes the infection, uh, uh, like uh, in the cases with the like uh, um, mononucleosis, you know, uh, in that case, because it's due to virus, so the antibiotics will not work, you know. And uh, in case of the serious causes, your doctor may suggest that uh, you have your spleen removed, you know, which is called that. Uh, splenectomy you know. and this is the procedure where the spleen is totally removed you know and it's entirely possible to live the normal life uh, after having the spleen removed you know and your risk of developing infection throughout your life uh, may be increased you know uh, but you can reduce your risk by getting uh, of getting infections by getting the appropriate vaccinations and uh, following the like hygiene, uh, certain protocols, you know. And uh, if you have this, like, uh, splenomegaly, uh, finding the ways to prevent the damage to your enlarged spleen are important, you know. And when your spleen is enlarged, it has a greater risk of rupture, you know. And the ruptured spleen can lead to heavy internal bleeding and which can be life-threatening, you know. Okay. So the careful evaluation is very important, you know. And why the uh, if you believe that, or if you're diagnosed with a splenomegaly or a large spleen, it's very important that you avoid the sports or the activities where there is a uh, there is a chance of uh, uh, like any trauma to the spleen, you know, and uh, where it can rupture, you know, it can lead to a life-threatening situation. So you need to be very careful, and even you should not play the. Uh, games where you know, like contact games you know like football or you know, other games you know rugby etc you know or any activities where there is a chance of uh, having an accidental uh, uh, like uh, damage to the spleen you know and uh, thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe this channel for more information every day Thank you and goodbye.